Hello, rat community. Here we've got another fully restored travel trailer. This one is a 1953 Aljoa. It's about a 14 footer. It has been completely frame up restored. As a disclaimer, this is not a retro restoration trailer, but it has been built by a very good friend of mine, and I uh, guided him through the whole process, watched him through the process, and helped him when necessary. Uh, so it, I, I would stand behind it as much as one of my own trailers. I do know this one is built absolutely correctly and very well done. The owner is actually very a little bit more meticulous with details than I am, most likely. As you can see, it's got all new aluminum trim, all new uh, paint. The uh, white, of course, is the uh, aluminum comes that way, and then the yellow was added by the owner. The uh, Aljoa logos are hand painted on. All of the lighting and everything is new. The windows have all been refurbished with not only cleaned up and polished, but new uh, gaskets and seals. All new uh, moldings around the outside of the trailer. The tires are brand new. They are Diamondback trailer rated radials. It's important that you have trailer tires on a, on a travel trailer. And that's just what these are. They're custom made by Diamondback. Back here, we do have a rear bumper. Tail lights are all new and rewired. We got some uh, custom jack stands that are painted to match the trailer. New license plate light. Once again, the aluminum is all new, freshly rescanned. We're going to have some pictures in the uh, gallery of the process of rebuilding this trailer. But it's absolutely no dents, no damage. It's absolutely beautiful on the outside. And we can go in here and let's do a little, uh, this door opens like that, stays open. It's got a custom built screen door. This little slider here, you slide it when the door is closed so your bugs don't get in. You slide it open so you can get access to the uh, door handle when the door is closed. Inside this trailer, it's a little different than some of my typical trailers. It is birch wood, but it has been stained a little darker. Yeah, it has used this darker stain. The cabinets are all custom built. They're all rebuilt from originals patterns but uh customized with uh well originally it just had smooth panel doors and they did these floating panel cabinet doors that look great we got uh all new uh squeeze hardware that releases the cabinets but holds them shut while traveling all the lighting in this trailer has been converted to 12 volt led lighting it all works it works off of a deep cycle battery when the trailer is not hooked up to shore power. When it's hooked up to shore power, then the lights all run off the 110 volts that, uh, through a converter that converts it to 12 volts. All this wood is all brand new, all freshly redone. It's got a brand new mattress in it. Underneath the uh, new cover, we do have a closet over here. All nicely done. It's got a little closet rod there. Just really nice cabinet work on this trailer. Down here we have a little surprise underneath the bed for those late night emergencies. It does have a, uh, that's just dust. Nobody has used that toilet yet. It looks almost like something a little uglier on there. Excuse that. Uh, there's a little porta potty that pulls out from under the bed for those late night emergencies. It slides back in out of the way when you're not using it. A little more storage under here. Uh, nice drawers, all refinished inside. One of these switches runs the water pump. That one runs the water pump. And I have to ask the owner what that one's for. I don't remember off the top of my head. I did know. I guided him through on. 
it's got a brand new two burner stove top now this is a more modern item but it's safe and it works good and uh um it's uh it, it's just a brand new item down here we have a frigidaire fridge it does have a little lock here to hold the door shut while traveling this too is brand new now this fridge is 110 volt only it will not run while the 12 volts so if you're not plugged into power you'll have to put some ice in the fridge we've got new upholstery up front new table the uh new curtains that were made for it the gas lantern now i'll have a picture in the video it's converted to led to shine up it looks like a gas lantern lit but it is an led light as well these are all 12 volt light fixtures i'll have a little light switch turn them on and off underneath this dinette is the water tank the power converter and the fuse box or the circuit breaker box and the fuses for the 12 volt over on this side underneath this is extra storage and there is a battery box with the 12 volt deep cycle battery in there so that's basically the little tour of inside the camper it does have a little light that's convenient right above the door it's got a new roof vent up here these cabinets all uh, open up and have a little thing to hold them open while you're getting access in there quite a bit of storage for such a little trailer anyway be sure to look in the photo gallery for the pictures of it as it's being built we'll show you how well it was done but everything in this trailer is pretty much brand new new uh linoleum flooring everything has been completely refurbished this little trailer is ready for another let's see 1953 this trailer is 70 years old I'd say it's ready for another 70 years of camping enjoyment. Anyway, there's our little walk around video. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, be sure to hit the contact me or just ask them in the comments section. And we'll be glad to um, answer any questions that you have. Thanks for watching.